Welcome back to What Are Tea Noobs with General Disturbance. This is the 105 fh 18b 2 the French Tier 5 Premium SPG we know and love as Pee Pee La Pew Pew. You might know as a Lepi, a Leaf Blower, or a Le Heifer. This one is located on the southwest spawn of Karelia, and it's under the command of Bartholomew's Rexodus 44 by 2 of the TLG clan. 105mm light field howitzer, it's a German RT. In fact, it's actually on a captured tank, a Butte Panzer, a prize panzer that the Germans took during the war. Um, they captured a lot of Shard B1s and they converted them to all sorts of uses, including being just heavy tanks in their own right. But 16 were actually turned into RTs and oh, he's not driving well. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh <laughs> uh, well, at least, at least he's keen to get to the enemy. Okay, he's found a spot where he can shoot at the enemy. Before he can shoot, the target's destroyed. Okay, 25 TP. Now, can he get shots in these other guys? Not easily, but if they come a bit further out, he might be able to. So he's going for the first spot. A blind shot. Rounds out. And he hits somebody. Somebody was sitting behind that rock and he just struck him. Oh, and it was a Wolverine. <laughs> I can see he's lost a few hit points because that was a direct hit on his front. Uh, he's pulling back now. I think you have to wave me shots around about there. And he probably knows that he has to move away, otherwise he's going to get hit again. Well, that shot didn't hit him, but I'm pretty sure he's still there. Rounds out. Didn't get that one either. The standard reload for this RT is 8.92 seconds. And we can see Bartholomew's Rexus has got a reload time of 7.51. Okay, new target, P43. He dialed that one in very, very quickly. But he got a direct hit for 177. He's racking up the damage now. Rounds out. That's a direct hit. Oh, he killed him! He wiped him out with that shot. He must have got a penetrating shot. Now, it's a tier 5 game, only tier 5 tanks in it, so he should be able to pen a lot of these enemy tanks. He splashed the VK-301H, leading the target, and he wipes him out. 323, that must have been another penetrating shot. Going for an A20 this time. He quickly pulls back behind the rock, and, well, he doesn't know how lucky he is that he did that. If he'd stayed out, he would have been wiped out. Okay, he's come out again, and oh, another penetrating shot. Now, he didn't get the kill there, but certainly he did get penetrating shots. A lot of these shots have been right on the money, and they did pen. The only one that didn't pen, funnily enough, was the Wolverine. That was only a, a direct hit on his front. Rounds out. No, he's... He's probably still there, but he's hiding wisely. Okay, on this side we can see an AMX CLC moving up from rock to rock, using them for cover. He's trying to go for the Stug, so, and he's got the 90mm gun. We can tell that because the gun doesn't turn the full way round. Rounds out. Yeah, I think the shells are actually persuading the AMX to go elsewhere, because if he tries to stick around, he's going to get hit. Got a limited arc with the 90mm gun. So you have to steady the boat, uh, or steady the, the vessel, uh, the vessel, it's my maritime background. You have to steady the tank before you shoot, because otherwise you could easily miss. So it's, uh, it's a difficult tank to play well at speed. Okay, going back to the bush, just in case he's still there. Rounds out. It's a long flight time for the shell. You can say, see here, it's 2.6 seconds on these readouts. Lots of people ask me, which readouts do you use? Well, we use Aslane's mods, and the readout is called um, Damocles. And we also have the aim timer, which you can see to the right. And um, that actually says a Russian word, which says reduced, when you're fully dialed in on the enemy. So wait for that to get to zero, and then you know you're fully dialed in. There's the M10. Oh, and he's got a bishop with him. Now, this should be fun. Rouse out. Oh! 
Well, at least it was quick. That's all we can say for him. It, it was very final. And the, the Wolverine has gone as well. But this time around, he didn't get the kill. The Wolverine went down to the SU-122A. So another RT got him instead. Okay, Stug Fear. Trying to get the shell through the gap. Rouse out. And he's gone as well. That was another penetrating shot. So that's masses of penetrating shots in this game alone. Well, we're two up on the enemy at the moment. The enemy just wiped out our M10 RBFM. Okay, there's the M10. Got a red line. We can't hit him at the moment. Not from the position we're in. And if we were to go around the corner, we'd be exposing ourselves. But the BK managed to get rid of that guy without taking any further hit points. And there's the enemy RT. And he's just outside range. Not sure we can get a shot from there. I think we have to get a bit closer. There's only five enemies left. Two of those are there, RT. Another one's a KV-1, a Stug, Dry, Alsorungi, and that AMX CLC that we saw earlier in the game. We know the AMX has the 90mm gun. We don't know about the KV-1 or the Stug, but the Stug's probably got the 75mm rather than the 105mm. The Derp gun, well, it's not as effective on a Stug, Dry, Alsorungi. And I know a lot of uh, Unicum players who said, no, never get the, uh, the derp gun on the Stug. You're much better off with the 75mm because it's uh, a faster firer and it's also very, very effective. It's accurate. Okay, popping up. Oh, now we just lost our Homey 3 to the AMX CLC. So I suspect he's actually hiding in a bush somewhere and just ambush that guy with a 90mm round. In the meantime, we're still going up the horseshoe. It's even numbers at the moment now, thanks to that loss, unfortunately. We don't really want to lose the Stugdai Al Sunungji as well, because it means we'd have to get closer. And of course, the VK is very low on hit points. In fact, he's a one shot as well. And he's probably going to be the next hit for that AMX if he's located where I think he is, near the swamp. And we don't want to get too close to the swamp because uh, if we do, we're going to get uh, spotted and we could get shot at. There's the Stug by Al Sorongi. He has got the 75mm, just as I suspected. Line up the target. Rounds out. A lovely kill. That makes four. Oh, we did lose the VK301H. And it was, in fact, the enemy RT, the Fifi, who got him. Okay, our bishop's moving up from the south on the east side. He's coming up from the southern pass. The enemy have got that uh, KV-1 blocking his path. He won't want to get any closer because, of course, he'll be worried that he might get wiped out. So, oh, there's one of them. And he's in that bush there. For sure, rounds out. And that's a kill. He got the SU-122A. Now, can we get the shot on the KV-1? He's just spotted our bishop and he's firing on him. The bishop's firing as well. We're dialing in as quickly as we can. Rounds out. That's a direct hit. Then he used the heat rounds, which is correct. You should try and use those heat rounds on heavy armor. Oh, now that one hit the ground. There's the Fifi. He goes down to the Stug. Now, we're going back to where the KV-1... We've lost the Bishop. So it's two versus two now. Rounds out. Oh, I think that hit the ground. Pretty sure. I heard the noise you associate with something hitting the ground. I think he ought to switch... Oh, he can't switch back to HE. He's got nothing left. There's the KV-1. Let it settle. Unfortunately, he's got no angle. He has now. Rounds out. Just misses. Okay, should be able to get it now. Ready? Rounds out. Yes, that did hit, but didn't pen. Rub it, hit the armor. Fires in. 
and that one hits the engine deck and I think it's knocked out its engine. So go for the turret. If you can get it, not turret. Yes, he got it. And that penetrated it. But now we've got the AMX ELC and we're only firing heat rounds. Yeah, can we get a shot on target? Rounds out. Oh, I got him. He hits him for a massive amount. Now it's only up to the to the Stug. We gotta keep the pressure up on that AMX. The Stug can do it. Oh, he mucks it up. Don't let the guy. Oh, he rammed himself to death. Oh, that was comical. Let's see that again. The AMX rammed himself to death against the side of the Stug. He went around the outside and watch this. So I've got him now, rams into the side and kills himself. <laughs> you know, what I miss with all that excitement at the end of the game was that Bartholomew's Rexodus picked up a Top Gun right at the end when he got the kill on the KV-1. Uh, yes, very well done that because uh, that was the biggest threat because he still had most of his hit points. But those heat rounds are deadly if they do make contact in the right spot. They can make up to 350, well, at their alphas 350. So they can soon strip away all the health from the tank. And he did get the kill in the end. In fact, uh, he got enough to get the top gun. He also, also got an ace tanker out of that game in a tier 5 game, which is difficult to do. So you have to kill a lot of the enemy and collect a lot of hit points in order to get an ace on a tier 5 only game. He got a bruiser medal for getting at least 5 critical hits. In fact, he got 14. A high caliber for dealing the most damage in the game. And of course, that top gun for getting 6 kills. He actually got 6 exactly. His win eight in the game, 9,419, which is super income and a lot more. And I guess really we should be saying as well, that fantastic shot on the ELC stripped him of most of his hit points. There you can see a penetrating shot, 358. That's what made it easier for the Stug to get the kill. But he actually... Well, he didn't intentionally get the kill. It was actually the AMX who made the mistake of trying to ram into the side of what is pur purportedly a tier, uh, a tier 5 medium tank acting as a Stug. So a light tank rammed the, uh, a medium tank and came off worse, which is not surprising really if you think about it, but it was just very comical the way he did it. Let's have a look at the team score. Highest damage, 2,671 hit points went to Bartholomew's Rexodus. Second highest damage in the game went to the enemy, Fifi, who got 1,592. His name is crazy. And in third is the M10 RBFM on the enemy team, who actually had 1,484. When it came to kills, again, Bartholomew's Rexodus gets that. Six kills to him. Three kills went to the M10 RBFM on the enemy team. And two kills went to the Stug Thai Al Surungi on her own team, the VK301H, the Fifi on the enemy team, the AMX CLC, and their KV1. And the KV1 picked up Mascucci's middle because he killed um, at least two enemy SPGs in that game. And um, yes, yeah, so he actually killed both, didn't he? Because uh, he got the SU-122 and the Bishop on our team. That's what he, he got. Okay, when it came to base XP, he's got that one too. So he's got the top in all three columns. 1,135 went to Bartholomew's Rexodus. 717 went to the Stugtai Al G, And the AMX ELC on our team picked up 669. He fired 36 rounds in that game. Got 12 direct hits and 7 penetrations. He did run out of HE rounds towards the end. And that might have cost him if he didn't get direct hits. But he was aiming accurately to get nice hits on the KV-1. Even though a few of those rounds did hit the tracks. One of those rounds did effectively hit the turret. And I think that was the one that did the, the worst of the damage to the KV-1. He splash damaged 8 Got 2,671 hit points of damage, of which 2,333 were at more than 300 meters, so most of the damage at long range. Nine enemy vehicles were damaged, six were killed, 147 hit points of damage assistance.
Now he earned 20,802 credits profit from that game, even though he used a lot of premium rounds. And he also took away 4,938 experience points out of it as well. So a really good game there by, by Bolomus Rexodus. Uh, quite surprising that um, uh, at the end, when there was two on two, he actually managed to beat the enemy uh, KV-1 and their AMX. Because that AMX player, he did seem to me to be quite a practice player. The fact that he was using the 90mm gun, uh, so and he knew to run away when, obviously, he was compromised while he was trying to go up after the Stug earlier in the game. In fact, he, he did the correct thing to run away, because if he had tried to sit there, then Bartholomew's Rexodus would have got him with a nice clean shot right up his rear. But, uh, yes, it seemed that uh, they had the advantage on hit points, but it all turned out okay in the end, and we won. Well, Bartholomew's Rexodus won at once. I hope you enjoyed that replay. If you did, please give this video a like. Do subscribe to our channel. Leave a little comment down below because it feeds the algorithm and uh, makes him go nom nom. And thank you for watching.